Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Thanks for joining me again, everybody. Uh, so last episode, we ended here at Hemlock Holes Golf Course, and that is where we still are. I am seriously over encumbered. So I kind of hate to walk around and pick stuff up. Oh, look, that dude's over there again. And uh, that daily quest is back. The uh, talk to Hemlock Holes cook, that quest is back. Well, I uh, can't say that I'm interested in doing it again. It wasn't that great in the first place. So we're going to turn that off. And we're going to look at our side quests. So we got this cold quest here where we're supposed to go to the Clarksburg post office. Um, Clarksburg is where? Hold on a second. Let me turn that quest on so I know what I'm looking for. Go to Clarksburg post office. Clarksburg post, of post office is right here. So maybe we'll just run over to the Clarksburg post office. Maybe we'll do that. Um, but, uh, oh, oh, interesting. Look at this. Huh, I'm surprised that that's still there. I thought that would be gone when I logged out, but uh, it is still there. Oh, look, no, it's claimed by somebody else now. Look, claimed by Dive Medic 50. <laughs> okay, claimed by somebody else. All right. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm kind of curious about it. Kind of curious to see what he's done with the place. If he went through the trouble of uh, trying to um, defend it, you know, put up defenses and stuff. Man, I am, I am really over encumbered. Uh, and I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a bench in here. And even if there is, uh, I don't even know if it'll do any good because I can't scrap anything because my stash is full. So I'm pretty much just gonna have to start dropping crap on the ground. I think. So, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna pick anything up, unless it's something really useful. But yeah, I didn't think that there would be a bench around here. Recipe for cranberry jam, sure, I'll pick that up. I don't know if that has any weight to it. I wonder if these things do have weight to them, and if so... Maybe I should go ahead and read them. Notes. Uh, plan for uh, domestic tables. See if my weight goes down. Yeah, it weighs 0.25. Okay. Plan for a metal box. Recipe for cranberry jam. Recipe for fried deer skins. All right. Cool if I could use this stove as a cooking place, but that wouldn't really make sense now, would it? Poop. Gone fishing. Ugh. I don't know if you could see that or not, because it might have been too dark, but there's a fish in the toilet. I'm just playing hangman. And not very well. There are many golf balls in here. Ooh, binoculars. Well, I took them, but I doubt. I don't think I could use them. There's been many times already in this game when um, I wish that uh, I wish that I had binoculars so that I could like look at something from far away. But I don't think that I can use binoculars in that way. So, um, like I said, I mean, I think I just have to start dropping crap on the ground. You know, junk. Look at all this scrap. Ugh. Yeah. Well, if I go over here to this guy's camp... It's not really a camp. I don't know. Let's just go over and look at him. Like I said, I'm curious to see what he's done, if he's done anything. And if he set up turrets, are they immediately going to start shooting at me? To wait for my action points to come back. It doesn't look like he's done anything. You know? Doesn't look like there's anything at all. Or I can claim it. Well, I don't really want to claim it. Well, so I said that I was considering going to um, Clarksburg over here. My camp is up there. If I go to my camp, I might be able to dump off some stuff, but then again, I might not be able to either. 
what if... If I wanted to move my camp here, it's going to cost me five. I mean, I could. I don't even know how many I've got. 448? It's not that many, really. Even if I did want to move my camp here, it probably isn't even going to let me because I'm too close to something else, you know? Yeah, look at this. I just walk around. You know what? Look at this, though. Am I cheating? I think I'm cheating. Because I'm just walking. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I was, I was going to say, and my uh, action points don't seem to have any effect here, but they do. <laughs> yes, they do. See, I started walking slow. I was thinking that if I had this out, it wasn't taking my action points into consideration. Well, let's just walk over here. I don't think it's that far. If we look on the map, yeah, it's pretty far, but... And I don't think taking any aid is going to help me. Um, I could level up. No, oh, I have to do it from here. So, strength. Basher. Slugger. Gladiator. Iron Fist. Another pack rat. Owned, Max. So I, I can't do any more of those anyway. So this is it. This is the, um... I mean, I guess I could lessen the weight of my chems. Sure. Why not? And, uh, sure. Why not? And then, uh, I can throw it on here. Swap that out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that should have freed up a little bit of um, stuff. Tiny bit. I think I was at 200 before. And um, endurance, dog food, chems. Yeah. I mean, yippee yahoo. Charisma. Gain six damage and energy resist teammates. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not uh, going to do any of this crap. I don't care. I don't care about buying and selling stuff at vendors. Uh, I don't care about teams. Inven adventuring alone, take 10% less damage and gain 10% action point regen. Well, that's kind of cool. Can I accept this? But it it's two points, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. That was under Charisma. I could remove... Uh, when did I put this on here? I never put that on there. Put Lone Wanderer on there. There. That's better. Take 10% less damage and gain 10% action point regen. Cool. Okay. That's kind of nice. So I'm all maxed out on my cards. We will just walk on over here to... Clark's Berg. The Berg of Clark. Of course, I'm curious about what's going on right here. It's a cute little place. Well, this is another farm, it looks like. Woods Estate. Listen, you hear that? That's another silo, dude. I missed it, damn it. He's a high level. Oh, nice. All right, another silo alpha code. Cool. I know these are important. So I will be picking them up as I see them. Now that I know what that noise means. Do I hear another one? I hear another one. Was that his? Hear it? It's getting louder. Is it this guy? 
I think it is. Something saw me. He, it's him making that noise. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, oh, it's here on the ground. Read. Okay. Do I already have piece 04? Oh crap, something's coming. Oh, it's just that frog. <laughs> um... Where are these things? 04. Okay, so I've already got 04. Okay. <laughs> I can't pick it up. I can't read it. Alright, whatever. Let's go back over to Woods Estates. I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm maxed out on inventory space, so it's, it takes the fun out of exploring. Like, even in here. I don't want any of that. Don't need any of that. So I'm gonna look around. I don't know. I mean, even bobbleheads, I don't even know if I care to collect because they're different now. They're not permanent, they're just temporary. So that sucks. I mean, look at the bobbleheads I've got. Items. Uh, it won't be under junk, it'll be under aid. Energy weapons, energy gun damage plus 20%, melee damage plus 20. Plus 30% fusion core duration, you hee -haw. And unarmed melee damage, plus 25%. I mean... Not like I'm gonna remember that? Or need to st oh, hold on a minute, let me stop and use one of these things. So yeah, I mean, even bobbleheads I'm not too excited about collecting. I just don't think they're that useful. But I know that there's like um, those guidebooks that we could pick up. Look at the picture. Huh. Oh, look at this. Woods Estate Terminal. Well, let's check it out by all means. Uh, property of Arthur Wood. Warning, unauthorized use is prohibited by law. What's the, what's the name of the little kid that went missing? It wasn't Wood, was it? Yep, Freddie Wood. Okay, so this is a picture of Freddie Wood over here. That's who that is. Can't zoom in on it though. So, <laughs> look how pristine this desk still is here in this terminal, in this building whose whole upper floor is missing. Property of Arthur Wood. Personal. Molly. Arthur, my dearest. I am both frightened and excited that we will soon be parents. I am so glad you've agreed to let Otis work with you at the mill. I know he irritates you, but he's my only brother and I love him. I've done a silly thing and ordered a very expensive thing for the baby. I hope you don't mind. I love you, your Molly. Oh gosh, what did she order? Camp Tomahawk. Dear Mr. Wood, thank you for giving us the chance to make your son Freddy a Pioneer Scout. We are thrilled that he will be attending camp with us this summer as we have healthy activities planned to enrich his experience. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have concerns or questions. Scoutmaster James A. Johnson. He did it. He's the guilty one. <laughs> Nanny Annie. Oh, this is the expensive thing she bought. Mr. Wood, thank you for your recent inquiry about upgrades for your Miss Nanny model. I have dispatched a catalog to you in the post with our newest innovations. Please let me know if I can assist you further. Respectfully, Jeff Perry, General Atomics International Sales Manager. Vault Tech Project Safehouse. Mr. Wood, to answer your questions. Yes, there is room for both you and your son. Where's his wife? Yes, your war efforts are greatly appreciated. Yes, you can arrange for your son to be delivered to a safe location in the event of war since you will likely be separated from him. If he is at either location you specified, his home, his school, we will be able to assist. No, his nanny will not be able to join him, regards Voltec. Interesting. Hmm. 
So for a second there, I was thinking that something was going on where Freddy really wasn't kidnapped. It was his dad arranging for him to be moved to a safe location. But this says he'd have to be at his home or his school, and he was not at either of those places when he was taken. Company business. Grafton Steel Business. Classified safety data. Mr. Wood, I'm afraid the worker safety numbers this past quarter have increased drastically over the previous quarter. This might look pretty bad if released to the regulatory board. Even with our government preferred status, Grafton Steel would take a lot of heat. Maybe we can adjust the format of the report? This is another argument for automated workers, though. Repair costs are a lot cheaper than lawsuits. What do you think, Stacy? Huh. Well, safety numbers have increased sounds good to me, but I guess it's bad. Morale. Mr. Wood, worker morale has been plummeting. I started asking around, and I think Otis Pike <laughs> is, this is his wife's brother, is bad-mouthing the company. With your permission, I will arrange for his activities to be watched more closely. Respectfully, Stacy. Termination. Mr. Wood, I've terminated the problem in employee and reported his commie leanings. Uh-oh, here we go. To the authorities as you requested. This is who stole... Stole. This is who kidnapped Freddy. Because remember he had like some kind of communist propaganda on him, I thought? Uh, under the Wartime Workers Act, he could hang for treason if you want to press this issue. Please advise. Stacy. Okay. And finally, Production. Mr. Wood, our numbers are dropping fast. I think the workers are intentionally damaging automated help. <laughs> I'm not sure they're going to be the best solution in these turbulent times. Can you investigate whether conscription is an option while we wait for the delivery of more automated workers? Regards, Stacy. Oh my. Whoops. Estate controls. Property of Arthur Wood. What? Offline. Okay, the estate controls are offline. All right, well, don't know what they would have done. And I don't see a safe lying around here or anything. Man, it, it, off in the distance, in that direction, it always sounds like something's going on, and I guess maybe that's just how things are in Grafton. There's always explosions and battles and gunfire. Alright, well, this is Wood Estates. I guess, uh, let me see if that doesn't look like I could get in here. Unless this door opens, which would, would surprise me if I did. I mean, listen to all that going on over there. <laughs> I hope you can hear that on YouTube. All right, on to Clarksburg. I hate the sound those things make when they explode. It sounds like a mole rat coming up out of the ground. At least I think it sounds like that. I have to imagine that sound I hear is that same silo code that we saw a moment ago. Oh, here's some blood leaf. Oh, let us wait for our action points to rejuvenate while we enjoy the beautiful landscape of post-apocalyptic West Virginia. worried about what I'm going to find here. Actually, I'm really worried. Meat pile. Well, I'm hoping to find a workbench of sorts here. Med X, I'll take it. Oh, nasty. Blood bug hatchling. Oh, 
it's the best way to take these things out. Can you get close to me. What? I'm not doing any damage to this bloatfly at all. Come here, you little piece of crap. Man, switching weapons does not work well at all in this game. You've really got to press and hold the button, it seems like. Yeah, take that. Hmm. Yeah, 45 rounds in the shower. Can I even walk up these steps? Oops, trying to avoid stepping in the water. Well, Clarksburg is in bad shape. There's armor here, though. Or ammo. Armor. Ammo, armor, whatever. Look at this. Look at all this. Man, why is there so much ammo around here? Security baton, a cop cap, patrolman sunglasses. I don't need to be picking that up. Rad Roach, where'd you go, Rad Roach? You ain't dead yet? Come on now. Oh wow, here's a short pump action shotgun, which I'm not gonna pick up. Let's see here, let's do something real quick. Let's do a little experiment. Let me look at my ammo. Shells, shotgun shells, 219. Let's see if I get more when I pick this up. We were at 219. And we're at 219 still, so either this shotgun didn't have any uh, ammo in it, or I don't get ammo when I pick up weapons. We'll, we'll do that experiment again when I remember to do it. Oh, I'm kind of stuck in here. So we're supposed to go to the post office. Ah. Oh. oh, nice. Cooking station. That's pretty cool to find. Alright. Food. Healing. Oh man, I still can't make... I don't have any soot flowers? What did I do with my soot flowers? I know I picked some up. Crap, man. And I'm pretty sure I picked up more blood leaf than that. Has this stuff gone bad? Let me look. I don't have anything in here that says it's rotten. Well, I have two toxic soot flowers, so I guess that is different than soot flower. And I could have swore I had more blood leaf than that. I guess I used it for something else. So. Unfortunately, awesome possum bacon. Grilled rat rich. Rad rat steak. Oh, even more. We're gonna be eating rad rat steak all week. And drinks. Potato juice. Water 22%. That'll quench your thirst. Of course, so will these things. This actually gives me some strength. And that's all I can make. Okay then. Well, at least I was able to make some things. Where is this post office? In this place, really bad shape. Let's see if there's anything upstairs. Eh. 
Oh, more ammo just laying around. Bobby pin box. And it says Bunsen burner inside of that dresser. What a weird little town. Just ammo lying around everywhere. Somebody walking around? Okay, I wanted to see if there was another human walking around here. Nasty thing. Die. Oh. oh gosh, these things are annoying. Switch. I'm out of action points. Oh gosh, sounds like there's a lot of stuff walking around in here, man. Here I am without any action points. I am so over encumbered. Looks like there should be a uh, a bench in here. I want the gunpowder. No bench. There's got to be a bench in here. Oh, jeez. So creepy. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something. Oh, crap. Up the stairs we go. Oh, killed him. Killed him dead. Oh, there was another one. Where are you, you little SOB? Where are you? Come on out. Is he upstairs now? He is upstairs. Oh, man, I didn't hit him. Still no bench? Oh, good grief. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Well, luckily, I'm killing most of them with one hit. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, what the, what the? Oh, come on. Pretty smart move on his part. Credit. This place is lousy with scorched. Hey, here's an armor workbench. But there might still be somebody walking around. Yep, and there is. Where are you? Is he even in this building? I'm holding that weapon. <laughs> yeah. Let's calm down a bit. Thank goodness, that was that was a little hairy there for a moment. But we survived it. Whoa. Where? Who's shooting at what? pick up the vacuum tube and the wonder glue because I don't see them very often. Same thing with the used oil can. I huh, wonder if this is a trap. A trigger. Alright, let's go down here. Use this bench real quick. Scrap items. Scrap all junk. That did not even get me close. Um... Binoculars will. Uh, this thing I'm going to scrap because I can't use it. I'm sure I'll see him again in the game. I ain't worried about it. Okay. Gets us down to at least a better 
I'm never going to use this. Okay. And then, does anything need to be modified or repaired? Let's see how my weapons are doing. Eh, I mean... Well, this is armor. Eh, we're doing pretty good. I mean, I might as well repair it while I can. Somebody's angry. That guy sounded like he was in pain. Your duct tape is a good thing to have. This is gross. All right, we need to get to this post office. That's what I'm here for. Where are you? Completed. Something was completed. I guess this. You shoot at me? Who do you think you are, jerk? Some more ammo. Man, if you ever need ammo, come to Clarksburg. I wish that their footsteps were different because it always sounds like they're walking on wood. To me, it does. It's like they're walking on a wood floor. But this guy isn't. He's outside. He shouldn't sound like that. You know? So, you know, then I can't tell where they are by listening to their footsteps. I can't tell whether they're inside or outside. Man, somebody else shot at me, damn it. Who's shooting at me and from where? Oh, up there? I didn't get him. Nice. I've had, had enough of you, Scorch, so I'm going to tell you that right now. I've had, had enough. Yeah, let's unlock this explosives crate and see if there's any goodies in it. Oh, so close. A plan for a cryo mine. Well, to hear that there is yet another scorched running around somewhere out here. It makes me hesitate to use this. Because he'll come in here and start wailing on me when I'm trying to access that. Why is there so much ammo in this town? There's the missing poster again. Which I can read, but I cannot pick up. Poor Frederick Freddy Wood. Look at all the ammo. Yeah, that's, that's my pro tip for you. If you need ammo, come to... Come to Clarksburg. Alright. Alright. Look at this. Hello, how can I help? Notification. While every effort is made to assure data is accurate, the Postal Service does not certify any information contained herein. The Postal Service is in no way responsible for any errors that occur in these records, nor liable for action taken as a result of the reliance on this information. Instructions select appropriate search type and enter your information. Um, well... What was the box number that we have? Box 12. Free war money. I'm collecting it. I'm a collector. I'm a new... new numa, numa something? Personal information obtained about individuals registered to our system is protected by law. Let's see who, who has box 10. Available for rent. Box 11. Boyd Beasley, 7 Main Avenue, Grafton. Box 13. M. Lozano, 12 Tower Road, Clarksburg. Box 14. Available for rent. Box 12. Otis? Oh, it's freaking Otis. It's Otis, man. It's Otis. He did it. It makes sense. It's freaking Otis. Unable to parse. Data is malformed. Well... Cold case. I managed to use a post office terminal to figure out who owned the box. It's a guy named Otis Pike who lives in Grafton. He must be the kidnapper 
I will go check his house and see what I can find. Well, we already know who Otis Pike is because, you know, it's cool that we stopped at the Woods Estate. I mean, I could have just walked right past it, but I didn't. I stopped at the Woods Estate. I read what was on that guy's terminal. We found out who Otis Pike is. We know who Otis Pike is. Otis Pike was his wife's brother, the one that he did not get along with, who he gave a job to at his work, who did a crappy job, and then ultimately was terminated. So, there you go. Motive. Cut and dried case. Huh. I'll pick that up just for the heck of it. Melon. I don't know why I have to say it like that. I, I don't know. I, don't, I just, just like to say it like that. Okay, Otis Pike. He is in Grafton. And as we know, Grafton is down here. But we also still have a quest. This Bureau of Tourism quest here that we shan't forget about. Because we need to do these things for Grafton's computer mayor, and I'd like to do those things before we go back to Grafton. Right? So if we look at these on the map, well, there's one up here, and there's one way out here. So I say we go ahead and hit the road and um, walk on over here to the Black Bear Lodge check-in terminal. I say we do that. That's what I say anyway. Oh. Got another jerk out here running around. Oh, here's the boxes. Somebody tried to break into this post box. What? What are you trying to tell me? Huh? Go away. I'm trying to... Oh, dog on it. I'm trying to loot. Okay? I can't loot with you running around shooting me, okay? Oh, this guy's fast. Jerk. Stupid jerk. Sick of these guys. I didn't even notice these boxes over here. Uh, let's look in this post box. <laughs> Screw you, game. <laughs> Let me use... Oh, this is 12 right here. Confidential safety data. Classified. Mr. Wood, as requested, here are the safety numbers for the past quarter. I've made the adjustments you've recommended in the revised list. These numbers are much better. Uh-huh. So it looks like old Otis might have stolen this. Original first quarter deaths, 31. Dismemberments, 12. Sickness, 123. Oh my gosh. Here's revised. Deaths on premises, 2. Dismemberments on premises, 6. Sickness confirmed by company doctor, 13. Look at that crap, man. Look at that. Important memo. Grafton Steel Memorandum to all employees from Stacy Tibbetts, HR manager. I am pleased to announce that Grafton Steel has official, officially been named a government preferred war contractors. Our efforts, your efforts, will defeat the commies. With this news comes excited, some exciting changes. One, effective immediately, all shifts will begin working a 672 schedule to make our production quota. Golly, man. Remember, with your 12-hour shift, you will get a half an hour for lunch at your workstation and three 15-minute breaks. Oh, my God. Two, under the Wartime Workers Act, you will be given time and a half pay for the 11th and 12th hour of each day. So there's some extra money coming your way. Hooray. Three, six, sick time is no longer paid. A doctor's note is required for any absence. Gosh. Support the war effort at Grafton Steel. Man, I I used to have jobs like this. Not exactly like this, but where, you know, I'd get a half hour for lunch and two 15-minute breaks. And, I mean, if you're still working that kind of job, I feel for you, man. I really do. It is, it is a tough way to go. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? I hope that uh, if you are working that type of job, you either love it and enjoy it or that uh, you find something better soon. I hope that for you. All right. Um, 
foodstuffs. Guess we could look around here a little bit since we're here in the big city of Clarksburg. I am a bit tired of these stupid scorched running around though. About had enough of you scorched. Well, I'll take some Radex, even if it is diluted. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, apples, I could eat those. Oh, I'm thirsty. Let us take some drinks here. Um, what do I got to drink? I only got three purified waters left. I got these pilsners here. I'm not going to drink these. They make me dumb. I don't even know how the, these work in this game, right? If my intelligence goes down... Let's drink one of these and see what happens. So my intelligence has gone down one because of that. So what does that mean for me? Looks the same to me. Um, and let's see. Do I have effects right here? I'll look at my dude. So I guess I'm a little drunk. I really don't know what that what that's going to do. Yeah, big deal. Intelligence minus one, but charisma and strength plus one. Ah. I, I mean, so what? I'm going to drink another one. Here, screw you, game. We could get good and drunk. Looks like it doesn't matter how many you drink, it doesn't stack. Always good to find first aid, man. Always good to find that. Mm, okay. I do. Oh, did I actually find? Oh, nuka cherry. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, sounds so delicious. Uh, oh, here we go. More Rad X. I will take it. Thank you very much. Man before machine. Uh huh. Okay. Here's a gun shop. Oh, this is that gun shop that we were in earlier in the game. And look, this door's open now. When we were here before, uh, this place... Oh man, there's music playing, doggone it. Pulse mine, plasma grenade. Remember, this door was locked and I couldn't get in it. I didn't have the skills to uh, open that door, but it's it's open now. I guess maybe another player opened it or something. There, shut up. Separ serrated blade switchblade mod. I mean, am I supposed to do something with these? Item... Mods. Mods can only be attached to the workbench. I mean, I'm, ne I'm never going to use that because I'm never going to use that switchblade. I'm just not. You know? So now I'm just carrying around this extra weight. Oh, no way. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I was thinking that would have dropped me in this room, but... Uh, didn't. Well, I got in there. Button push. Oh, no, I'm trapped in here. That's not funny. After what we heard earlier in the uh, airport, remember? That real sad story about that woman who got trapped in there? Sorry to bring that up again. Scrap items. Scrap all of my junk. Wow, that really helped a lot. Scrappity do. I don't, I'll never use that. Still carrying way too much weight. My Pilsner wore off. Okay. Eh, let's see if anything needs to be repaired since I'm here. A hunting rifle. Very important to me. Very important. Somerset Special. Yeah. 
Again, somehow it has that hardened receiver on it, even though I don't even have the, the mod for it. But what do I know? Oh my, what happened here? A settler. It might be the first settler I've seen in this game. I think it is. I want to go in this direction. Really, dude? Just let me go. I'm trying to leave here. Oh, look at him up there. What place is that? Can I get up there? Oh. Yeah. Curious if I could get up there. Let's go see. Hmm. Well, let's. Yeah, okay. Again, man before machine. Oh, here's some. Soot flower. No, toxic soot flower. Why are two 308 rounds removed? What's going on here? Why is stuff being removed from my inventory? What is up with that? Sweet roll, we could eat that. Huh, we can get on the roof here. Pretty interesting. Here is um, how you get up here. Oh man, look at all the stuff this guy's got on him. That must have been the guy with the crown on his head, right? Or over his name, not on his head. Duct tape. And I'm over encumbered. What was that? Oh, okay. Well, it was worth coming up here to get all that stuff off of that scorched, right? I feel like it was. And I'm curious to see what else is up here. I mean, we could walk up here. Oh, wow. We could walk on all the rooftops. What's this over here? Right away. And what else? What else and where else? I heard you. Cooking station down there. Oh, here's some buff out just lying here. Another short hunting rifle. Is this a building I've already been in? So many places to go. Nope, I haven't been in here. Cooking station. Ooh. Pork and beans. Yeah. Have I picked up anything I could cook? Let's see. Still can't make anything healing. I could make some baked bloat fly. Oh crap, he just opened that door. Just standing there looking at me. The biggest mistake of your life, buddy. Last mistake of your life. Uh, food. Well, I can make drinks. Carrot flower nectar. And that's all she wrote. Let's go see what's going on in here. Protest sign. Dad needs job. My dad needs a job. Well, that's not sad at all. There's another cooking station right here. Okay. Mentats. Another settler. All this ammo. Oh, that's not an ammo. 
sealed specimen jar? Okay, I'm going to take it just because I never see it. Corpse. Okay, what's the difference between a corpse and a settler? I don't know. Mac and cheese. What's this? Protest sign. Give jobs back. Give our jobs back or we'll take yours. So this is all, again, related to what we, um, block the bot. What we read about in, at the Woods Estate. Recipe steeped ash rose tea. Let's, uh, read that now before I forget about it. Oh, plan for cryomine. Nuka-Cola grenade. And then the tea. Okay, cool. Is that bobby pin box? I do believe it is. Nice. Cool. Oh, stim pack lying there that I didn't see, and it's a Medex. <laughs> so easy to miss things. Well, this looks like a good place for me to hang out. I am exhausted. It is late Sunday night. I got to get up and go to work in the morning. So I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we really will take this path over here to uh, the Black Bear Lodge and repair the check-in terminal. And then if we have time after that, we'll cruise way over here to Fort Pickett's, or to P Prickett's Fort, to repair their token dispenser. Wow, what's this big giant building? I don't know. We'll find out in a future episode. Thanks again for joining, er joining me, everyone. I hope you had fun. If you did, you know the deal. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in the next episode.